plasmas are completely or partially ionized gases. They exist as thermoplasmas, the so-called fourth state of matter. However, there are also non-thermoplasmas with high electron energies, but where gas temperatures can be as low as room temperature, like for example with this plasma ball. Cold plasmas are used in medicine, air cleaning, and many other applications. The widest industrial distribution, however, is for treatments of technical surfaces. Plasma treatments are used, for example, to activate surfaces, enable gluing or painting, and even for the direct deposition of high-performance technical coatings. Plasma surface treatments have been studied for usage on wood and wood-based substrates for many decades. The majority of atmospheric plasma applications on wood utilizes barrier discharges. In contrast to that, the majority of industrial applications in general employs gliding arc plasma jets. The barrier discharges allow for large treatment areas of the individual tools, whereas plasma jets typically need to be moved across the surfaces. Plasma jets, however, are wider industrially available and thanks to the different plasma composition and temperature, they can provide faster treatments in some occasions and more precisely located treatments in other instances. In this study, we used one millimeter thick veneers of common beach. A plasma treat open air unit with a PTF 570 nozzle was used at four millimeter distance to the veneers to treat them at 10 meters per minute in passes of 50 millimeters. In this case, the plasma treatments were single-sidedly performed and therefore two different kinds of stacks were created, one with equal and one with alternating orientations of the samples. Two sets of such stacks were created, one directly after the plasma treatments and one after a holding time of 72 hours. 45 gram of resin per layer were manually applied. The plywood was formed with a 6 minute holding time at 140 degrees and 230 bars. The durability of the plywood was tested by 24 hours of soaking in water. Afterwards, the samples were dried for 16 hours at 103 degrees centigrade in the oven to stress the bond line. On the plasma treated samples, we find a slightly higher mass increase after 24 hours of water absorption. The remaining thickness swelling after an additional 16 hours of drying, however, is slightly lower on the plasma treated samples. Bending strength tests were performed for 12 specimens per data point. The modulus of rupture did not show a significant difference, but the modulus of elasticity was, on average, slightly reduced on the plasma pretreated samples. The shear strength tests led almost exclusively to a failure at the rated breakpoint and thus inside the bulk wood material. The results are therefore not representative for the actual bond strength, but for the veneer material. On plasma pretreated samples, the maximum shear stress to failure was on average 37% lower than on the reference specimens. This likely is a thermal effect of the plasma treatment, since gliding arc jets have a slightly elevated gas temperature as opposed to, for example, barrier discharge plasmas.